Now we are putting together something that is awesome today. Did you have a scooter growing up? Maybe you've got some kids, they've got scooters, they're totally in fashion right now. Maybe they're looking for an upgrade or, like I said, maybe you used to have a scooter and you'd like to relive that joyful freedom you enjoyed as a child, but you need it to be amped up a little bit. Well, that's what we're doing. We are building a reverse trike tilting scooter. So it's going to be a three-wheeled scooter, hence the trike. It's going to have one heck of a frame, as you can see here with the serious welding. And we're going to add shock absorbers. It is going to be motorized. It is going to be ready to go off-roading, or at the very least, to handle all the gaps in the sidewalk, possible potholes, any little jumps you might want to try to pull off. So there's our motor. And we've attached and welded on the two spot prongs that this wheel will slot into in just a second. There you go. And that is going to be our single wheel. We're going to have the double to make it the trike at the other end. Once we get that chain tested and connected to the motor. Now a few more cuts net needed to make the base plate for our scooter. That's going to be where you stand. And yeah, luckily no kicking the ground, kicking off skateboard or scooter style in the traditional sense because this bad boy is going to run on gasoline unless you want to pick an electric motor. Of course, uh, there are other options out there. You feel free to choose and again, as always, decorate it as you feel. We're going to leave this with the uh, standard metal finish, not doing too much to that. The only real color on it is going to be the red of that motor. You know, you don't even have to feel like it needs to be a trike. If you wanted to make this a four-wheeler or maybe even a two-wheeler, you go for that too. We're just trying to inspire you here with some awesome ideas. Getting our shocks in place. And those aren't going to be the only shocks, but they are going to give us a really good amount of absorption. Like I said, especially for that uh, rear section with the motor. When going over typically potholes and sidewalk speed bumps should be able to hold up to some light off-roading as well. There you go. The body of this bad boy is really starting to come together now. As I like to say, measure twice, cut once, especially when you're going to be welding things into place. You don't want to get them in place and then find out you've measured wrong. It's a messy fix. Looking good to attach our other wheels shortly now. There you go, look at that, ready to cruise. And it's a pretty rad looking little vehicle. Definitely something that your kids would be proud to take to the streets or even an adult would probably get some pretty cool looks zipping down the road in one of these. Almost at the finish line now, or in the case of the scooter, the start line that we are going to take off from. Getting that handle in place. Look at that. Just about ready to rip. There you go, adding another shock absorber at the back. Some handle grips. Of course, brakes and a brake line, because this thing is going to rip. That is, you are going to rip.